Hi there. So you've walked into your meeting space with a Bose Video Bar VB1 and you've connected using the provided USB-C cable and you've discovered that the in-room display is not sharing the content you've prepared for the meeting that starts soon. What do you do? In this tutorial, you will learn about four areas of interest to troubleshoot so that you can start your meeting on time. Most VB device equipped meeting spaces will use a standard on-wall meeting space display. For the purposes of this video, I'll be using a smaller portable display to focus on the common problems usually experienced by in-room meeting participants. Let's start with the easiest area to check, power. Assuming your computer is already on, first check the VB1. If it's powered on, you should see a small section of its light bar lit solid white. If that's not the case, there could be a larger problem with the room as the VB1 should constantly have power to enable meetings within the room. The next is display power. Check that your display is powered on. If there's a remote control in the room for the display, the previous user may have simply used it to turn off the display. And it looks like that was the issue with this setup. After checking that all devices are powered on and you still aren't seeing your content on the in-room display, start checking your cable connections. There should be one USB-C cable connected to your computer and the VB1 using a USB-C cable that's provided. Make sure that the USB-C cable is firmly connected to your computer and the VB1. If your computer does not have a USB-C port, make sure that the USB-A adapter is firmly connected. The next cable to check is the VB1 to display using an HDMI. On the rear of the VB1, there should be an HDMI cable connected, and on the other end of the port, it should be connected to the video display. Next, check your display input source. Is the correct source input selected on the display? If there are other devices connected to your display using HDMI, then it could be possible that someone had previously selected a different HDMI source. That is not the VB1. Use the display's remote control to cycle through the available HDMI source options. Next, check your computer display settings. If everything is powered on, plugged in, with the correct input source, then the problem may be a result of mismanaged computer display settings. In Windows 10 or newer, select Start or press the Windows key on your keyboard and type Display to access the display settings. At the top of the window, you should see multiple displays listed. Scroll down to the multiple displays and from the drop down menu, select duplicate these displays to see the same picture on both the computer and the in-room display. Or select extend these displays to treat the in-room display as a second screen so you can see different windows open on the in-room display and computer. On macOS, select System Preferences, click on Displays, and then Display Settings. By default, your external display should be set to mirror mode. To change this, you can select Stop Mirroring, and it will change to an extended display. Now, if you're not seeing multiple displays in either the Windows or Mac environments, it's likely your computer requires the Display Link driver installation. Without Display Link installed on your computer, it will not recognize the VB1 as a display device and will not stream display information to the meeting space display. Display Link drivers are available to download at the URL listed right here. Depending on your organization's software installation policies, you may have to contact your organization's help desk for assistance. If you can't install Display Link and require a temporary fix, you can always run an additional HDMI cable for your computer to the in-room display. 
but you must keep that USB-C cable connection to the VB1 so that you can still communicate with your computer to the VB1 for your mic, camera, and loudspeaker. Well, that wraps up this tutorial. If you're still encountering problems sharing your in-room content to the display when using a VB1, then it's advisable to contact your facility's help desk for further assistance. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the other Bose VideoBar VB device tutorials so you can become an expert.